So here we are, the infamous Tim Hortons. <laughs> the Tim Hortons, the chocolate. Welcome back to another day four vlogging or another week vlog. I'm starting this a week a bit late uh, since I did upload my one day vlog for Halloween today. So that will be uploaded by the time you see this video. So if you guys still haven't checked out to vlog 156, the Halloween vlog, link will be in the description. But right now I'm heading out to do my newspapers and I have to go to the bank or the bonk as you guys all know it. So as always, I'm going to bring you guys along with me to the bank or the bonk. I'm uh, at the bank. I just got done my newspapers. So I got paid for my newspapers today. So now I'm going to the bank. Get some money out. It's not, it's not busy today. Surprise. Oh yeah. Busy shoppers. Shoppers are always busy. So. How is everyone doing on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, evening, or wherever you guys are? Let me know in the comments section below, and also let me know in the comments section below on how how, how was your Halloween. I'm always curious to know what, how was your Halloween. Did you guys get a lot of candy? Let me know in the comments section below. I am out. I didn't didn't take me long to go to the bank. Just went to get the money out, and then that's it. So probably gonna go ahead to Tim Hortons get a coffee. I am. Thirsty for a coffee. I need my coffee to edit. I have to edit tomorrow's review. Since I didn't do a review for Wednesday, I thought I'd just keep it for Friday. So let's go to Tim Hortons and let's go home to edit. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another day for vlogging. I know this week I haven't been vlogging much, but I did put two vlogs up this week. I hope you guys all enjoy that one, those two vlogs. And uh, today it is Saturday, November the 4th, and we're currently in Wallersburg right now. Once again, we're at Moore and Fry's, just uh, off Wallace. So I'll show you, maybe I can show you guys around here where you guys can, uh, where I can show you where Moore and Fry's are located. So this is Wallace, I'm assuming, and it goes all the way down here. No, this is actually a different street. My mistake. My mistake. This is a different street. I'll show you what's Wallace. This street right here is Wallace. You guys will see. More and fries right there. So, all the way down there is Wallace. To give you guys a clear picture on where you guys can find more and fries, to give you a little easier way, is more and fries is located next to an apartment building. This is Harbert Court. Warren Fries is right next to it. So that's an easier way you guys can find it. Uh, I just finished one of their hot dogs is, and it's fantastic. I definitely recommend you guys to come here at Warren Fries. Support this little food truck, this little local food truck. I definitely recommend it. I'm just going to be diving in it and their poutine. Uh, their medium poutine is $6. Their small is like three fifty. dollars and they're large, I think it's like eight bucks. Uh, last time I had came here, I shared a large poutine with my girlfriend because I wasn't sure if I, I would like it. So we were all picking out into this large poutine. Now that the fact that I do like it, I grabbed myself a medium. So even if I don't finish it, I'll have some when I get home. I just finished up eating. I didn't finish my entire poutine. That was just a huge poutine. And before I left, I wanted to just vlog a bit just before we went to, uh, I think no frills we're gonna go next, but I'm not sure, but I'll show you guys when I get there. But as I was saying about the poutine, off the hook, I definitely recommend it. If you ever come to more fries, let them know the Chattaboy 12 sent you. So that way they know that, uh, they, they know who, who sends them to uh to their location so definitely i recommend it uh, the poutine i know this is not the review channel but for the poutine i'd give it a five out of five definitely it was great the value was great and you get a big portion a big quantity of portion so one more time i'm 
at more and fries and then uh, we're gonna be heading out so let's go everyone i am uh, back everyone so now i am at no frills in wallaceburg and these are cheap if the ones in chatham it's like a dollar for the basket here it's like 25 cents what are the odds of that so let's go everyone let's go to no frills Uh, back out of no frills maybe if I can get a thumbnail maybe I can get a thumbnail there's the thumbnail <laughs> I always think about those thumbnails because you know it's the thumbnails that create people to want to go see that video just just when we got out of the no frills like Starting getting a little dark. It kind of feels like it's five o'clock in the evening, and it's only like in the afternoon. So I'm gonna put the groceries in the van, and we'll be on our way. It's about 10.23 at night, still on a November 4th, Saturday night, and I'm just actually relaxing. I'm going to show you guys what I got from No Frills. You guys all know I showed you guys inside of No Frills in Wallaceburg. In my honest opinion, uh, the Wallaceburg No Frills was a little bit better, in my honest opinion, than the Chatham No Frills. Uh, there's a little bit more things uh, that I thought, because... There's things that I've seen at the Wallaceburg No Frills that normally the Chatham No Frills would have ran out or would have sold out and they wouldn't have restocked it. Wallaceburg, for some odd reason, they always keep their stock up, so there's always things that are, are always available to you to purchase. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought today, so let's go. So this is some of the things that I got. I got some Yopes, I got the Raspberry. Strawberry banana, peach, and the vanilla. I got 10 of these. So I, I didn't take the whole 10 on, out of the fridge, but I got 10. And then I got some Coffee Mate Double Double Cream so I could put my coffee. I got some yogurt. And of course, I got a Coffee Crisp uh, milkshake that I got for a dollar. And last time I bought one of these was at Foodland, and I was, I was about two dollars and forty nine cents, so I got cheaper. And of course we got some banana cream snack pack puddings, and we got some fruit punch juice. I did grab some Lunchables, some summer sausage. I bought about six of these, so I got summer sausage, bologna, and the pizza and pepperoni. I didn't just get the the coffee crisp, but I did also get the Rolo and the Next Quick chocolate. I am in my studio or room, so right now I'm just putting all the clips for this upcoming vlog together, so I can start editing it tomorrow. Tomorrow I want to end the vlog, maybe vlog a little bit more tomorrow than what I did today. Uh, but you'll see uh, when this vlog is put together that uh, how long the vlog will be. But anyways, today has been a very long day. Uh, we started doing newspaper this morning. Uh, we went to uh, Wallaceburg after. Uh, lately, we've been doing these uh, these trips to either Tilbury or Wallaceburg. I haven't been to Richtown in a while. You guys all know that I think the last time I did a vlog in Richtown was a couple of vlogs ago. I'm not sure, but you guys know, you know... If you guys follow me on this channel, you guys know when I did my last Rich Town um, vlog. But I'm hoping to do some Windsor vlogs as well. Uh, we were supposed to go today to Windsor with my mother-in-law. Something came up, uh, something personal came up, and uh, we couldn't make it. But I'm hoping by the end of this month, 
we're going to go to Windsor because I kind of want to go to Springs. So if anyone is in the surrounding area of Windsor can tell me or if you guys have been to Springs, let me know in the comments section below. Is it worth going? Because uh, I got, uh, I would like to go just to uh, feel the experience of going to a big trampoline world. So, like I said, if anyone has been there, let me know in the comment section below if it's worth it or if it's not. Let me know in ratings uh, between one and five. What would you give that the place uh, for prices, for admissions, or for the actual? experience of going there let me know in the comment section below and yes i'm probably catching a cold because that's why i'm sounding like this so bear with me i'm still vlogging and i have a, i'm hoping everyone will still enjoy these wonderful adventures as i call them uh in vlogs so adventures i call them vlogs so yeah so i'll probably see you guys all tomorrow peace out i hope tomorrow is gonna be a better day than today this today has been rainy and cold and it's getting colder by the minute, so I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little bit better. So, see you tomorrow, everyone. Good day, everyone. Today is Sunday, November the 5th, the last day for vlogging until tomorrow. And then, uh, oh, my ride's here, so I guess I'll talk to you guys after when I get to uh, Food Basics. I was saying uh, we're going to, or I should say, I'm going to Food Basics to get some cheese. Cheese was on sale. And now and then after that, we're going to Tim Hortons, of course, to get our coffee or coffee like we always get every day. Well, we need coffee to edit because you need caffeine to stay awake while editing. Well, even though it's throughout the day, you need caffeine to edit. I always I've always said that before. Uh, you always need some sort of like beverage to edit and coffee like to me is the best thing to do, uh, the best thing to drink while editing. But right now, today is grayish. I've always said that, grayish. It's it's like my word. I'm not sure if it's already a word invented, but it's grayish, and it's rainy, and it's starting to feel a little bit hot, like a hum the humidity. It kind of feels like it's like cold and humidity mixed together. So we're going to go, and I'll see you guys at Food Basics. I am at Food Basics, everyone. I don't think I need to show you the sign, do I? Maybe for a thumbnail. Right? Thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. <laughs> I just need to come and get cheese. Maybe some orange juice. Because you gotta get ready for the cold season. So let's go to Food Basics. Oh, I am out of food basics. Now we're heading to Tim Hortons to grab a coffee. It's so grayish. It feels like it's like seven o'clock at night when it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when the time time changes. Hope everyone turned their clocks. I think it was one hour behind. So I guess you gain one hour sleep rather than losing. So, so yeah, I got a few few sales. It cost me twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. So let's go. So here we are, the infamous Tim Hortons. <laughs> the Tim Hortons that Chatterboy Twelve goes to a lot. And I'm needing a coffee, a large double double. That's my coffee. If you guys ever want to get me a coffee, large double double out of a Tim Hortons. I got my donuts, or not really donut, I got a maple pecan danish this time. And of course I got my large double-double donuts or maple pecan danish and my girlfriend's muffin and my grandma's donut is in there. So, so since we got our all of our stuff, let's go home and start editing. I am uh, back at uh, home. Just came back from uh, Food Basics and Tim Hortons. And right now, it's been raining for the past few hours now. You guys all seen that it started raining as soon as I got, uh, actually as soon as I left. And it's still raining. It's been like raining. Uh, it was actually thundering at some point with lightning. So I'm not sure why it's been like this. We're in November, going to in December, and it's raining. 
not snowing. So, so I'll show, so I'll show you what it looks like outside. This is what it looks like. Raining. Raining, raining. But you see the leaves are falling off the tree. Which is always nice, you know. It's nice to see a nice fall weather with rain. But I'm just getting tired of rain. Oh, you hear the thunder. So I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up. As always, if you guys did enjoy this vlog and you guys want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to continue seeing more vlogs like this one. All my links to my social media will be in the description, so do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming reviews, vlogs, and of course, cooking videos. So until next time, or until next week, peace out. A very long night, trick-or-treating, and a very long day. A Halloween vlog it should be up by tomorrow afternoon. I'm just gonna just relax for the rest of the night and edit it tomorrow morning. Or so Halloween vlog is now up. So it's vlog 156, and on Tuesday I had uploaded vlog 155. I definitely recommend you guys check them both out. And as always, let me know what you guys all think. Go check out youtube.com slash channel 12. Just got done eating lunch at Moore and Fries in Wallaceburg. And it's on Wallace Street. Heading home. Heading home. Very grayish day in Chatham. Rainy and grayish. And it's only 2.43 in the afternoon and it feels like it's 7. It's so upsetting. I want the sunlight. What do you guys think? I'm going to do a giveaway for this large channel 12 vlog t-shirt so if you like to win this t-shirt stay tuned there's going to be more details coming very shortly so stay tuned and as always peace out <laughs>